Hey guys, it's Scissors. Um, I wear my glasses today. I might take them off then. I thought we would talk about fluffy bunnies. Um, fluffy bunny is usually a term that people use as an insult. It's usually someone who is like over the top, almost like annoying about Wicca or Paganism. Someone, or not just, like, that can be a term that's used for really anything, but it's used a lot in Paganism. Um, it's usually someone who doesn't really take the craft seriously, but does it because it's cool. That would definitely be a fluffy bunny. Um, but I mean, there are a lot of very serious pagans who could be described as a fluffy bunny. I probably could be described as a fluffy bunny. I wouldn't be surprised if someone called me a fluffy bunny. Um, I don't even know if I would take it as an insult. Um, because, I don't know. But there are a lot of things that people consider to be fluffy bunny-ish. Um, I've heard Silver Ravenwolf's books described as fluffy bunny books. Um, I like those books, honestly. I think they have a lot of information. I think they have a lot of character, is one of the main things. She puts a lot of her own stories into it. She puts a lot of her own feelings into it. She puts a lot of emotion into her writing. Um, she makes her writing interesting, I think. Um, yeah. So I read her books, if that makes me a fluffy bunny. I'm proud to be a fluffy bunny, because those were the first books that I read on the craft. I have a lot of them. I have um, To Ride a Silver Broomstick, Stir Magic Cauldron, To Lie a Sacred Flame, I have Silver Spells for Protection, I have, excuse me, um, I have her book about Halloween, I have Teen Witch, and I have Solitary Witch. Um, Solitary Witch has a lot in it. It has a lot of just pure information. Um, it's not really like a linear book. You can just open up to any... It's like a dictionary almost. Except it's not in alphabetical order. Um, it has a lot of spells. It has a lot of just pure information. It has charts and information on uh, card spreads and a lot of spells and rituals. It has information on the moons and the planets. Um, one thing that it doesn't have, it doesn't have a lot of just plain charts like to show you, it doesn't really have the information like just the basic like what each moon means, what each face of the st face of the moon means, um, what days are associated with what planets, um, like that kind of stuff. It's harder to find in that book, um, yeah, which is kind of annoying, but yeah. so that's why I write it in my book shadows because I can find it that way. But yeah. I read her books. I think they're fun. I think that they have a lot of character, and that's what makes it easier for me to learn. I don't like to just read a straight textbook that's boring. You know what I mean? So, maybe Fluffy Bunny-ish, but it's a good read. Um, another thing that people call Fluffy Bunny-ish is watching Charmed. I am a huge Charmed fan. I love Charmed. I watch it all the time. I think it's fun. And that's the main thing. It's not, like, I know it doesn't depict Wicca as accurately, uh, or accurate at all. Um, one of the major things that takes me off, they use the crone as a bad guy. It's in the book Shadows as, like, a demon. You know, it's artistic license. They're, like, I think it's, it, it's an extremely romanticized idea about what witchcraft is. The fact that you can throw a few things in the cauldron and they explode or make a big poof and something happens. I mean, I think there's something in all of us that thinks that that would be cool. I mean, to be able to just go like, fling, and something flies across the room. Or just like, I don't know, be able to freeze. That would be cool. Just freeze things, or explode things, that would be cool. I mean, if I could freeze time, that would be cool. 
I mean, I'm not going to go into really, like, it would be cool to be able to have premonitions because that's more realistic. Um, having visions isn't necessarily something that is extremely romanticized. Um, it is a little bit in the show, but, you know, it's, it can, it happens. Um, freezing time doesn't, you know, which it did. I wish I could freeze time or move things with my mind. That would be cool. Um, but yeah, it, it's for fun. It's entertainment. It's watching other people play out a romanticized version of what witchcraft is. I mean, it's just for fun. So not everything always has to be real or accurately depicted. They did use the word Wicca, I think, in the first few seasons. But, I mean, at least it's kind of getting the word out there, because not a lot of people really know what the word Wicca means, except from, like, the craft or from Charmed. But at least they are aware of the word. I mean, but it's fun, and people know that. People don't assume, oh, you're Wiccan, so you fight demons and blow things up and stop time. No. I haven't met one person who thinks that. So. Not everything has to be serious, guys. I mean, come on, have some fun. Watch Charmed. Watch Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Watch Bewitched. I mean, I like the movie The Craft. It's fun. You know? It's a romanticized version of what it is. But, and actually, they did put a lot of accurate information in there, which is pretty cool. Like, they had an on-set witch. Um, one of the actresses, and was, is, or was or is, or something, pagan. And they also had another witch who was, who was helping them on the set to say things accurately. So... Or do things accurately. Or... So it's not like they just throw out some mumbo jumbo. Like they want to make it look bad. So it's it's all for fun. So yeah. That's my rant on fluffy bunny things. You know, they're fun. Um, so yeah. I guess I will talk to you guys later. And take off my glasses. So you can see me looking normal. Put them back on. And I will talk to you all later. Blessed be. Come on, mouse. Ooh.